What's up everybody, Jason here, coming at you today by myself, gonna do a solo record review. Today I want to talk about the new record from The Colonel called Listen to the Blood. So The Colonel is a country artist, he lives in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, he has self-described his style as diet country. And it's that sort of description and attitude that I think makes the Colonel great. He doesn't take it too seriously. He's kind of tongue-in-cheek, even funny at times, uses humor a lot in his songwriting. But I think he's more country than a vast majority of country artists today. So I think being able to call himself Diet Country when really, in fact, he's bringing more of the real deal than most is uh, really cool. This new record, Listen to the Blood, is the Colonel's third studio album following 2017's excellent Light Country. I'd kind of compare the Colonel a bit to an artist like Johnny Fritz, who uses humor uh, a lot in his writing. This record is a very concise nine tracks over 36 minutes. Uh, it was recorded in Muscle Shoals, Alabama, with Ben Tanner producing from the Alabama Shakes. This record also has a great supporting cast of musicians playing with him. Uh, you've got Cotton Clifton, Cheyenne Metters, uh, Dominic Billet, Ben Tanner, Jerry Bernhardt, and there's also a great duet with Caitlin Rose on the record. She also sings backing vocals on several other tracks. The record comes firing out of the gate with the leadoff track, You Do You, which tells the tale of being hit across the face with an igloo cooler after running his mouth in an Indiana bar. The next track, Pistol in the Pillow, takes things up a notch even further with some great pedal steel playing from Zachary Moulton. The track Green Green Sky turns up the rock and roll a bit, and then a little later on the record he turns it up even more on the track Long Cool Finger, which has an awesome fuzzed out guitar sound. You've got like a little bit of ZZ Top flavor on there with a little Georgia Satellites maybe as well. But it also has this little bit of glamminess to it, almost T-Rexiness. Really cool, I like that track a lot. Then you've got the excellent fight song, which is the duet with Caitlin Rose, detailing a relationship that isn't working and each of them are kind of telling their side of the story. It really made me miss Caitlin Rose. We really need to get another studio record from her, hopefully soon. Jordan Lenning turns up on She's Seeing Somebody with a great string arrangement on the album's most emotionally devastating track. Overall, I love the playing on this record, the writing, clever wordplay, the humor, and just the sense of fun of all of it. You can tell that he has a, a really deep respect and understanding of country music, and because he understands it so well, he's able to kind of play around with it, be a little tongue-in-cheek, I wouldn't say he's taking the piss out of country music, but he's kind of, you know, being a, a little bit of a character of, of a country music artist. Uh, and I think he's able to do that because he respects the music so much. Uh, and you can tell that he really understands the history of uh, what he's doing and where, where it all originated from and where it comes from. I think it's a combination of genuine, sincere writing and really good storytelling, great wordplay, things like that. Combined with the humor and the silliness and the fun, and then you add to that the amazing players and just surrounding yourself with a great cast of musicians, I think it's really a winning formula. I think it works very well here. It's a great listen, a fun listen. It flies by. Cram said at the end of our Elvis Costello review, if you saw that, that that was an early front runner for him, even though he only had it at three and a half stars, you know, it was his favorite of the year so far. I had that record at four stars, but I knew at the time I was kind of playing it close to the chest that this was actually my favorite of the year so far. I like it a lot. Four and a half stars for this one. You know, if it had come out last year, it probably would have cracked my top 10, would have been probably my number eight or nine, and would have been my favorite pure country record of the year. So. I love it. I think it's a great record. I hope uh, some people will check it out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on our website. Links to all of those things are in the video description. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.